Howdy! This is Edward from Velarm. In this video, you'll learn how to automatically calculate volumes of your products you have in your tanks, which are remotely monitored with Velarm. Do you have some tanks in a remote location that you need to automatically monitor with sensors? You'll see some examples in this video of our customers that use Velarm for industrial IoT applications including tanks full of liquids, chemicals, cement, fertilizers, and other fluids. Here you see examples of solar-powered tank monitoring units that report real-time tank levels and tank volume data to Velarm Tools Cloud at tools.velarm.net. Have a look at our customer stories page on www.velarm.net for more info. And please don't hesitate to contact us at info at velarm.net if you have any questions. First off, you'll register your Velarm sensor hubs to send your sensor data to tools.velarm.net via GSM cell network, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or any other way you want to connect your industrial IoT devices to the internet. See our other video for how to connect your industrial IoT devices to tools.velarm.net if you haven't already. Once your sensor devices are cloud connected, then go to the device manager on tools.velarm.net and click your device you'd like to set up for tank volume calculations. In this example, you see tank levels being monitored by Flowline 4 to 20 MA level sensors. These sensors are placed on top of the tanks and are non-contact since they use ultrasonic or radar pulses to measure tank levels. The raw 4 to 20 milliamp sensor values reported by the sensor report a low empty tank as 4 MA and a full tank as 20 MA. Depending on the range of your fluid, tank, or water level sensor, the max might be 32 feet or 200 meters in real world values. You can see in the Velarm Tools Cloud graph that recently the level of product in this tank has been relatively stable. However, it's much more useful for you and our customers to know the height in real world values, like feet or meters. That's why we've set up a linear scaler that's being reported in the Calc2 field. You'll see how to set this up in just a minute. You can use the linear scaler with the tank height as an input for a tank volume calculator. In this case, Calc3 is the volume of your tank. Now let's go through how you can set up these handy tank monitoring features on tools.velarm.net. First, you'll set up a linear scaler under Configure Data Path. The linear scaler scales your raw sensor values you're receiving to the real world values. For example, if your industrial IoT level sensor reports values between 4 and 20 milliamps, with 4 corresponding to 0 feet of product and 20 corresponding to 32.8 feet of product, then you'll put in your min in as 4, your in max as 20, your out min as 0, and your out max as 32.8. Now Velarm Tools Cloud will automatically scale your raw 4 to 20 MA sensor values in a linear fashion so that the output channel or field now has the level of fluid in your tank. Next you'll use the volume calculator under Configure Data Path to set up your tank volume calculations. You've got a set of channels and tabs you can use to enable volume calculations. Here you can enable channel 1 and give it a name like petrol tank in building A or fertilizer tank in building B. Add some notes so it's clear to you and your team in the future what asset you're working with. Under the type, you can choose your type of tank vessel, either a vertical cylinder, horizontal cylinder, horizontal ellipse, or a rectangular tank. If you need additional tank or volume calculators, then please don't hesitate to contact us at info at velarm.net and we'll add them for you. For your input channel, use your linear scaler that you set up previously. In this case, the calculated to field has just what we need, the sensor's latest value for the height in feet of the product in the tank. Use a new unused output channel for where the volume calculation results will go. In this case, we'll use calculated three. Set your units for your input, e.g. feet or meters, and then choose the output volume units that you need, like liters or gallons. Last, you'll enter your tank parameter variables like length, diameter, and or height. That's it. 
Now the Calc 3 field will be populated with your tank volumes in all of the features around the Valarm Tools Cloud website, including maps, graphs, and JSON API calls. You can see your tank volume data in a graph where the output is whatever you need, like cubic feet, gallons, or liters. Do you need to see this information on a web dashboard that you and your teams can log into from anywhere in the world? We can make a custom dashboard for you or your organization that has maps, graphs, widgets, whatever you need. You can monitor your assets using any device with a web browser, like your phone or tablet. You'll receive alerts when sensor values go too high or too low. This goes for anything you need to monitor, not just tanks. Any industrial IoT or remote monitoring applications you need, like high-tech transport vehicles with sensors and industrial equipment like tanks, switches, hydroblasters, pumps, and vacuums, or water wells, water pumps, and flow meters, air quality, or other environmental factors that can be monitored with sensors. Have a look at our website at www.valarm.net for customer stories on how organizations in different verticals and industries around the world use Valarm to literally monitor anything, anywhere. Do you have any questions? Please don't hesitate to contact us at info at Valarm.net or give us a call, ring us up at plus one if you're outside of the US, 424-442-0963. We'd love to hear from you and have you tell us more about your industrial IoT, remote monitoring, and sensor telemetry needs. Thank you for watching.